Good day, viewers. You are welcome to another class. This class, we still want to buttress on the topic that says horizontal projection in projectile. We are bringing before you the solution to year 2029, May, June, YA question 2, part 1. The question says, a stone is projected horizontally from the top of a tower with a velocity of 5 meters per second. It lands on the ground level at a horizontal of 20 meters from the foot of the tower. Calculate the height of the tower. We are giving G to be 10 meters per second square. So let's try to interpret this question. The question says a stone is projected horizontally from the top of a tower. So let's say this is the tower. Let's say this is the tower. We have the tower here. So let's say this is the tower. And then the question says the object is projected horizontally. The object is projected horizontally. So this is the horizontal projection projection with the u which is what 5 meter per second so from there it lands on the ground level of a high 20 meter so that shows that let's say this is the ground level the object move like this and come back to this particular point such that the distance from this point, the foot of the tower, to the point of landing of that of the stone is what? Which is 20 meters. So that's the implication of what they are asking, they are trying to tell us from the question. The question now says we should calculate the height of the tower. So let's say, let's the height the height of the tower the height of the tower equals h which is unknown the height of the tower which is h is unknown and then the all the given we are given the initial velocity initial velocity of u initial velocity u of 5 meter per second so that is the first parameter we are given we are given the horizontal distance covered horizontal distance covered that is the distance covered from the foot of the tower to the point at which the projectile, the stone rather, land. So we denote that one with what? With capital letter R, which is 20 meter. So from there, we cannot think deeply. Don't forget, we are asked to calculate this height H is unknown. We are not given any time. But you need to recall the two relationships that we have discussed in one of our videos. You can go to the description side now and check the one that has the tag of horizontal projection. You will get the proper understanding from that point. So the two relationships that we have discovered earlier is R equals to ut which is the horizontal distance covered r initial velocity u and the time taken from this point to this point so that is the first relationship the second relationship says that when we have h the second relationship is all about h h equals to half gt squared so using these two relationships will help us to calculate h now from let's call this equation one 
and we have equation 2. Now, our R, we can say 20 equals 5 multiplied by T. That's from equation 1. So, we are trying to calculate T from equation 1 so that we can substitute it in equation 2 in order to find the height of the tower H we are asked to calculate. So, from there, we can simply say our T now is 20 divided by 5, which is 4 seconds. So, our T now is 4 seconds. Hence, we can now say, therefore, our H, which is equals to 1 all over GT squared, we now equals to half into brackets, which is half multiplied by, I can still put it in brackets anyway, which is the G given to us, which is 10 meter per seconds. So the 10 meter per seconds will be substituted here and multiplied by the T squared, the T that we have just calculated now, which is 4 raised to power of 2. So we can now say our H is half multiplied by 10 multiplied by 16. Our 4 raised to power 2 is 16. You will agree with me that 10 multiplied by 16 divided by 2 will finally give me 80. Will finally give me 80. So I can say my H is equals to 80 meter. So that's the that's how to solve this question. The question says you should calculate the height of the tower. The height of the tower, that is, this height H is nothing but what? 80 meter. So, if you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, kindly click the subscribe button now. Turn on the notification bell so that whenever we upload new videos, you will be notified. You are free to like. You are free to share with your friends. God bless you.